Hi guys, this is Afi and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I make my fisherman soup. Now, this soup is a fish lover's delight. So if you like seafood, I mean, you like all things seafood, then you, my friend, are watching the right video. Remember to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and of course give this video a thumbs up, right? So without further ado, let's dive right into it. For this recipe, we'll be using the following ingredients. Prawns, snails, ungolo, onions, salt, seasoning cubes, offal, crayfish, fish, crabs, scotch bonnet peppers, I'm using both the red and yellow scotch bonnet peppers, cameroon pepper, ground uziza seeds, uziza leaves, and some palm oil. As usual, I will be dropping a list of all the ingredients and measurements used in the description box, so please check it so you can cook along with me. In a clean pot, add all the proteins that you'll be using for this soup. So I'm adding in my snails, my fish. Oh, I should let you know that I'm using barracuda. But please feel free to use any type of fish that you like. But I recommend that you use a fish that is kind of firm. So when you cook it, it does not disintegrate into the soup very easily. All right. Also add your crabs. But before I add my crabs, I like to do a little something something. All right. So I just take the legs of the crabs. Okay. And I just take something a little hard to crack it a little. Oops. <laughs> It appears I smashed this sword, but you get the idea. Just crack it a little to, you know, um, give a little opening. So when you season it, the seasoning will penetrate into the leg. So it's not all bland when you're eating it. You get what I mean, right? Great. So crack a little and then add it to the rest of um, your seafood in the pot and then season as usual. All right. So that's just a little trick that I do and it adds tons of flavor. So just add it to the remaining fish and snails. And then I season with some onions, Cameroon pepper. I like to add pepper, a little pepper. You know, it's seafood. A lot of people feel like if they don't add pepper to seafood, it could get nauseating. I don't feel that way, but hey, I'm not cooking for only me. So if it's your thing, feel free to do that i'm also going to be adding some ground uziza seeds of course this is also to add some flavor to the fish all right then i'm adding my seasoning cubes and some salt once i'm done with my seasoning i'm gonna add some water stir everything cover it and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes before I proceed to the next level. After about 10 minutes, check on your seafood and by now it should be boiling beautifully just like this. Cover the pot and set it aside. Please do not discard the stock as we're going to be making use of that beautiful, beautiful seafood stock that we have in there. So grab another pot and add in the fish stock. All right. Now, because this fish stock is not going to be enough to cook my soup, I'm going to be adding in some more liquid. All right. So this is just room temperature water that I've added into the pot. Please add enough that you require to cook your pot of soup, right? Now I'm adding in my ground peppers. Remember at the beginning, I showed you that I'm going to be using yellow and red scotch bonnet peppers. That is what I've just added now. I've blended them and I've added it. So the yellow scotch bonnet peppers add, you know, it's very flavorful and the aroma is beautiful. So that is why I like to use it. I've also added in some palm oil, some ground uziza seeds, and now I'm adding my seasoning cubes. So I'm just going to cover the pot and allow it cook for about five minutes before I proceed to the next level. Before I come back to my soup, what I like to do is to mix my offal with some palm oil 
to form a paste. Now this will prevent the offal from being lumpy when you add it into your soup. Offal is my thickening agent of choice for this soup, all right? Yes, you need a thickener for the soup and feel free to use any thickener of your choice. You may decide to use um, achi or pounded yam or even cocoa yam. Whatever thickener you have available to you is fine for this soup, okay? So once you're done with um, mixing the offo with the palm oil, set it aside, move on to your uziza leaves and slice your uziza leaves. Once you're done slicing it, set it aside because we'll be using it much later in the course of the soup. After about five minutes, okay, check on your soup and add the snails back to continue cooking. Remember that when we cooked the snails at the beginning, it was just for about 10 minutes and that is not enough to soften your snails. While you don't want your um, snails very soft, nobody likes soft snails, you still want it cooked, okay? So add your snails back. And I also added some crayfish. I just added some crayfish, not everything, right? Cover the pot and allow it to boil for about eight minutes and then come back to it, open your pot and now add in your offo. All right, add in this palm oil that I added to the offo, like I said before, will prevent it from being lumpy. But if you've added your offo straight into this pot like this, guys, <laughs> It'll probably be premium tears by now because it'll be lumpy and you don't want that, all right? So if you don't add palm oil, you can even just scoop some hot liquid from the pot and add into the offo mix before adding it back. Just don't add the offo in powder form like that, all right? So add in your prawns at this time. Before adding in my prawns, I deveined these prawns and seasoned them with some seasoning cubes, okay? Now I'm adding in my ungolo. Ongolo is also known as welt, right? So add in your ongolo and give the soup a good stir, okay? And then allow it to cook for another seven minutes, right? Just allow it to cook for seven minutes. If you notice, I'm not covering this pot. If you cover the pot after adding your thickening agent, what you're doing is to, you know, slow down the thickening process which you don't want. So don't cover the pot after adding a thickening agent for just that purpose. Now I'm adding in my cooked seafood, okay? I've added in the fish, I'm adding in the crabs. Now I'm add basically adding in everything, right? Guys, at this point, haha, <laughs> just know that you'll be eating one of the most delicious soups in the world very, very soon, because we're almost done. Remember we cooked the fish, so we, we're not going to leave this pot on the fire for too long anymore. Add in the remaining fish stock if you have any and if you feel like your soup is too thick. So add in some more liquid. Be sure to give it a taste, adjust as you go along, add some more pepper if you choose, add some more seasoning cubes, you know, just adjust as you go along. Now I'm adding in the last bit of my crayfish. I always do this because I feel like it's intensifies the flavor if you add some of the crayfish just at the end okay i'm adding in my uziza leaves as well uziza leaves for me is a must in this soup just like amps the flavor from here to there guys the aroma in your kitchen air not die do you see what i'm doing i'm giving the pot a few shakes i'm no longer stirring this with my spoon to avoid the fish from breaking And so guys, this is how you make a yummy pot of fisherman soup. Now, did you notice? It's not too thick, it's not too light. This is the perfect consistency you should be looking for, right? And of course, this is the favorite part of the day for me, a quick taste test. Yes, so I'm just gonna try to get, ah, uh, see this lovely jumbo prod. Mmm, yummy. Half fish here, everything in here. I'm going in with my hands. 
Guys, I'm in awe of this soup. It never ceases to amaze me how something this simple can taste this delicious. Wow. Wow. So guys, I hope this soup becomes one of your family's favorites and you keep making it over and over and over again. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Until I see you some other time, thank you for watching and keep eating good food. Bye! Oh, wait a second, just before you go, if you love this video, don't forget to check out that video and this one and of course subscribe below, alright? So, bye!